Welcome back to Coding Games in Python. In this video, we'll talk about how to do a basic uh, uh, ball bouncing uh, animation. As we saw in the last video, on draw and on update are two methods from the rk.window class that allow us to draw objects and update them to create animation. And so here's kind of uh, basically the math behind how to animate uh, a ball and how to make, make it bounce around the screen. So suppose you have a ball on the screen. Let's make the center of uh, the ball be center x, center y, and then we're gonna move this ball. We're gonna do a one-dimensional one just to keep it simple. Uh, we're gonna move left and right, and so let's uh, suppose that the uh, the horizontal velocity is uh, change x, and so every frame this ball is gonna move by uh, change x amount. So in the first frame, uh, the ball is is at this location. So in the next frame, the ball will move over by change x amount. So that means that every frame, uh, this is moving at a, a discrete uh, velocity. And so that means that we're going to add change x to the center of x. Um, and so again, this is just horizontal movement. And so, and so the question now is, how do we know if this ball is going to collide uh, with uh, the, the edge of the screen? Well, the incorrect way of doing this is to say that uh, if the center x is equal to the width of the screen minus the radius. So notice here's the width of the screen on the right. If I minus the radius of the ball, then that's the center x. And so, um, so this is the incorrect way of doing it. We, we're checking to see if uh, the center of uh, the ball is exactly equal to uh, to this this location. And the problem with that is that uh, every frame we're moving by this amount and the ball might never be in that position exactly. In fact, in the next frame, the ball is actually at this position, which is actually beyond that edge of the screen. And so we can't check for equality. We want to actually want to check for inequality. And so the right check for collision is to see uh, when the first time that the center of x is bigger than or equal to the width minus the radius. So we want to check to see when the first time the ball is bigger than or basically overshoot the, the width of the screen. Uh, so this is the, the, the check and so what do we do if that's the case? Well, uh, when I hit the right side of the screen, we're going to change direction. So how do we change direction? We change direction by multiplying uh, the change x by negative 1. And so if, uh, if change x is positive, it will move right. By multiplying by negative 1, we make it negative. So now we're subtracting change x and so we're going to move left uh, after the collision, and so this let's see how this is done uh, in in code. So I want to open folder, and again, uh, so this time is the bouncing ball folder. So here's the template that uh, we've had uh, in the previous video. Okay, so here's our game window uh, class. Um, okay, so let's. Um, Okay, so now we need some variable to kind of uh, represent the position of the ball. So I'll just say self dot center x. So this is a one-dimensional um, animation, which is uh, keep center x be um, be the only variable that represent the position of the ball. Uh, so let's say that we start out at um, width over two. That's where we're going to start in the middle of the screen, and then we won't have a center y coordinate. We, we make it be the height of the screen uh, divided by two. And so let's have the uh, change x be equal to say we're gonna move by five pixel uh, every frame, uh, and then let's have the radius be of this bar be say fifty pixels. Okay, so now so that's the that's how when we initialize the window that's the initial values of uh, the bar. So here when we draw the bar we're gonna say arcade dot uh, draw circle fill and we're going to draw it at position um, so self dot center x and then the y value, center y we're going to make, make make it be the height over 2 make it in the middle of the screen uh, and then we also need the radius self dot radius uh, and then we also need a color so um, let's make it say red so there's uh, drawing the circle then when we to update is where we update the, our, the position of our objects to, to make it um, animate. 
and so we're gonna update it by saying um, so self dot center x plus equal to self dot change x so every frame in other words every 60th of a second we're gonna add change x to the center of x uh, so I think this is probably enough to make it at least animate and then we'll do collision in a second so let's run this now and check to make sure this works okay there's the ball it's gonna move across there it is right so now we're gonna make sure we're gonna check to see if it collide with the right screen and then make it move back and so uh, again let's go down to the update method let's do collision so if the center x is greater than or equal to the width of the screen minus the radius of the ball then we're gonna simply uh, I spelled that wrong so yes we're gonna change direction so self dot change x times uh, negative one and then we also have to do for the other side of the screen and so if self dot center x is less than or equal to self dot radius again for the same math that applies here if it's less than or equal to the radius then we're gonna again change direction of course we could have also combined those two into one but this is fine okay so let's now run this and see if that works So there it is, there's the basic uh, ball bouncing uh, animation. So notice that RK makes it very simple to do animation and to do, uh, and so this is, I think, all we want to cover for this video. So I'll see you in the next video. Thanks.